I've never written a punk rock, a punk rock record. I've never written a book. Um, but writing a book is hard. <laughs> <laughs> Do you notice some similarities between the songwriting and writing a book? Because it's both self-expression, albeit in different ways, and you use different like words and tools. But what do you? What are the similarities and what are the differences? Honestly, like making records in a Pro Tools era mm -hmm. really helped with writing a book, where you realize it's not like with a book where you start at the very beginning and then just write all the way to the end. Like you take a collection of words and stuff like that and you got to arrange them, you know, and just like in Pro Tools, you can like cut this piece here and move it over there and you can cut that piece here and paste it there. And and you can just like drop that part, put this new part in. Like it's, uh, it, it helped for sure. And you had your lifetime's worth of journals to throw in there too. Yeah. I mean, writing a book is a lot more of a solitary thing, which I'm not as into, you know, mm -hmm. I like, I like playing music with friends. Um, but uh, there's something to be said for each. Definitely. So when someone reads this book, because I've seen some interviews where like you basically give away the book. I want people to read the book. So when when people read it, what do you want them to take away from like your your life, your book, your words? Um, I I, I guess I want to. Yeah, I hope people like see the universality or get a better understanding. Universality, mm -hmm. universality, Uni universality. Uni I think that's the one. Yeah. Um, in 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 the transgender experience, you know, and that it's not that far off from anyone else's experience of just like feeling isolated, feeling alienated, feeling like you don't fit in, not feeling comfortable with your body. Like those are all experiences that most people can relate to, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think, it, I think it helps that you weren't writing in retrospect. You had your actual journals. when did you start journaling? I've been journaling since I was like eight years old and that, that was a great tool. And it's something that like was actually kind of a source of argument sometimes with like friends where they're like, no, no, I totally remember that night. And it, it happened differently. I'm like, I wrote it down the second after it happened. I don't even have to remember. I just wrote it down and yeah. I can look at that, you know? Yeah. And then it kind of gives people the snapshot, like the confusion of like what you were going through. Like it's, this is like, it was a like snapshot of what you were feeling and you were able to like kind of link it together. So I think it's a very powerful story that needs to be told, that needs to be heard. So uh, thank you for putting together this great body. Right on. Thank you very much for reading.